Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and welcome to a very first pug tutorial. So by pug, I don't mean the dog, I actually mean the HTML preprocessor. Now this means that it's basically a language that will convert itself into native HTML code. And you want to use pug because it is arguably a lot cleaner to read and also code in and it features some extra powerful functionality such as loops, JavaScript objects, JavaScript logic, mixins, templates and so on. So to actually use pug you can do so by installing the pug command line interface and this is done using npm the node package manager. So inside your terminal you want to type out npm and then install. This is assuming that you actually have node installed on your machine. So typing out npm install and then typing out pug-cli, the pug command line interface, you can install pug. You might want to also add the dash g flag to make that install globally. Now once that's done, you will have pug accessible via the command line by typing out pug. All right. So in today's video, I want to go over my directory structure and how I'm going to, you know, um, code things in the future. So here I've got a folder called intro and I'm going to make a new directory inside here. I'm going to call this one HTML. This will contain all the native HTML output that was generated by Pug. All right. I press enter right here. Now I'm also going to create a new Pug source file inside the root directory. All right, so I'm going to say, okay, new file and call this one index.pug. Okay, this will be translated to index.html inside the HTML directory. Okay, now the most basic or one of the most common pug uh, commands you might see, like the most common syntax is the doc type and then HTML. And that right there in Pug will generate the doc type um, first little statement on the top of your HTML page. All right. So to actually uh, compile this Pug code into HTML, we can start by using the Pug command line interface. So down here, I'm inside the root intro directory. Okay. I'm going to type out Pug. All right and then also add the dash w flag. That means it's the watch flag. It's going to watch for any file changes I make. Once I press save, it's going to compile automatically without me doing anything. All right, so we're gonna watch that file or watch all the files. We're gonna watch everything in the current directory. So dot forward slash everything in this root directory. All right, I'm also going to say where the output will be. It's going to be inside this HTML folder. So I'm going to say dash O and then say dot forward slash HTML. So output all my stuff inside the HTML folder. Okay. I'm also going to say dash and then capital P. And that will make the HTML code pretty printed with indentation, line breaks, and all that sort of stuff. If I press enter right now, we get it says watching index.pug so I'll make a change it's going to compile it's going to render the HTML called index.html copying the same file name from the pug file name okay so now inside this HTML folder I see index.html I press on that and we get that doc type HTML um, you know statement up there okay and that is how you can use pug how you can compile pug how you can structure your pug directories in future. I'm going to make use of this sort of um, structure and obviously show you guys how to actually use this thing. All right, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.